Hey guys, uh, welcome to your past life reading. This is going to be for um, Scorpio uh, for their, your September 2022. You can apply this to uh, any of your placements. So we're going to take a look at and see what happened in your past life and uh, how it currently affects you in this life. And then we will see um, what else you guys need to know, what to look out for, what to work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me um the link for that is in the description box below okay so uh what do you have for uh oh quick note that this message is uh not meant to be cross watch flipped twisted or reversed okay so uh this is more so for the scorpio individuals that are on a path of healing personal growth and spiritual growth but if you want to do so you can feel free to do so okay what do you have for scorpio here regarding their past life what do you have for scorpio regarding their past life here Okay, we have Atlantis. You guys might have a connection with Atlantis here, okay? Um, you guys might be Atlanteans. We have communal living here. I don't know, what communal living, you know, this could be you, you know, in Atlantis, living with a group of people here. You could have, you know, sacrificed yourself a lot by giving to others here and not taking care of yourself. I do feel like there's an energy of, you know, people coming to you uh, because of this, okay? Due to your, uh, maybe your generosity here, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here for Scorpio. You know, some of you guys might, yeah, you see, peacekeeping, peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Could be, you know, could be that, you know, your past life is affecting you in this life because maybe you guys self-sacrifice yourself a lot uh, and not take care of yourself here. Uh, regarding Atlantis, this could be an indication that, you know, you guys might live close to the water here, you know, around the Atlantic Ocean or something like that. Some of you guys might have a strong connection with dolphins here, okay? Maybe you guys have a strong connection here with the Native American tradition here too. You know, maybe in the past life, you guys might have been a peacekeeper or something like that. A tribal leader, okay? Let's see what else we have here for you. What else do we have here for Scorpio when it comes to their past life? What else do we have here for Scorpio when it comes to their past life here? For September 2022 for Scorpio. We have the Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles here. I feel like when it comes to Atlantis, I don't know. From what I know, it's like a very affluent and very rich civilization. But it could be that, you know, maybe there could have been a situation that, you know, you could have come from a place of lack or that there wasn't enough or something like that. Um, you know, in this lifetime, Scorpios, uh, you know, some of you guys could be struggling financially, okay? Or that you're looking for more here, all right? Let's see what else we have. The Strength card and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's, there's an energy of taking on other people's burdens here, too. That might come from the communal living here. Because I, what I keep getting that, there's an energy of helping out other people here and not really to, you know let's say if you have a loaf of bread okay you're sharing it with everyone else but then you're not eating you, you, you know so uh leo energy with the strength card here we have the queen of wands aries leo sage and the eight of pentacles here 
I do feel like there's an energy here with the Queen of Wands and Eight of Pentacles and Peacekeeper. You know, some of you guys could have done some sort of energy work in the past here. I keep getting vision quests here, okay? Some of you guys might be into witchcraft here too, so that's another thing I'm getting here. Magic, all right? Some of you guys are practicing your craft right now or that in a past life you guys were doing this. Yeah, this could have happened in Atlantis here too. Tell me about the Four of Cups here. With the King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Cups. This is interesting because I feel like even though, let's say you're coming from a place of lack or that you don't have enough, you guys are still happy with where, you're at, where you are at in life. And like, so this could be ha ha this could have happened in the past life or that you're currently going through this now. The Strength card and the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands here and the Ten of Swords, wow. I don't know, even though like there is some, you know, you know, in Atlantis, you know, it's an affluent, you know, very rich civilization. I do feel like there was a lot of suffering here too. But the thing is, I feel like there's still the energy of taking care of yourself here. You know, perhaps in this life, you could have gone through a lot of suffering here too. Maybe you've gone through a lot of loss or something like that. And, you know, this is, you know, an imprint of the past life here because, you know, Atlantis did get lost, right? So tell me about this uh, Queen of Wands here. The world. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay. This is so interesting. I, I feel like someone here got caught in a time loop, and this is on the spiritual realm. I keep getting time loop here. There, there's something about reliving, reliving this over and over and over again. Your, your ancestor or your past life is living this over and over and over again. And perhaps you might be get, getting visions of this. There's a sense of feeling stuck when it comes to your energy here or when it comes to your finances or something like that. Okay. Yeah, there's something about something about a time loop here. I'm getting there's some sort of curse here that happened. This is really interesting. Now this could have happened in the, in Atlantis. This could have happened in a separate lifetime here. Perhaps this peacekeeper could go along with this communal living here. Okay? Or that it could go along with this uh, with Atlantis here. But there there's something going on here. What else does uh, what else does Scorpio need to know when it comes to their past life? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to learn? With the nine of pentacles here in the hermit yeah some deep inner work needs to be done here because you know i feel like the stuck energy is hindering someone from gaining like financial freedom or independence here so i feel like this is happening in this life i mean this could have happened in other lifetimes here so you know uh the hermit virgo energy we have the seven of cups here and the two of pentacles you yeah, know there's an the energy of doing a lot here not just for, you know, not for yourself, but more so for others here. It's always taking care of others here, but not you. You know, I feel like someone's health, because of that, someone's health could be suffering here too. We have the hangman and the death card. So with the hangman and the death card here, I feel like you have ancestors here that hasn't crossed over yet because of this. There's some sort of time loop here. That's what I'm getting here. So that's something that, that needs to look uh, that you, you might need to look into. That's if you guys are interested in looking into this. Um, we have the hangman and a death card. Not, oh, nine of pentacles. The lot's going on here, uh, uh, Scorpio. And the three of wands. The hermit. We have the star could be a situation that your past life is trying to get you to help these ancestors cross over or something like that. Yeah, there's something about some, someone here not 
able to cross over that or that these people are not able to cross over because there's someone here is caught in a time loop i feel i'm feeling like there's like a curse here okay so let's see what else we have seven of cups in the high priestess we have the sun and the two of pentacles here I keep getting that someone here, there are a group, there are a group of people, a group of ancestors caught in between in, in a different realm. Maybe there's like a, maybe there's a battle that's going on that, 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 that's causing this time loop here because I keep getting a reset over and over and over again. But you know, these individuals don't completely move on. Hmm. I feel like you might be intuitively, you might be traveling to these different realms and just watching from the sidelines here. Tell me about the hangman. Because the hangman is about tradition and then we have the death card here. There's something that just is not closing out. King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. You do have the ancestors that stuck. And yeah, this is from the past life, okay? You might be seeing this person. You might be getting message from this person. Okay, but it seems like an ancestor needs your help in crossing over. And I feel like this has maybe happened in multiple lifetimes where this person was trying to get your attention in the past life, in this current life, okay? So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.